Get right into the tropics. That area in the southwestern Gulf we've been talking about for days does have a high chance for development. So we'll be watching that. It's still not impact. It's still not going to be impacting us here locally, but we'll time it out for you and see where it's going to go. Also, there's another area in the Atlantic Basin that's being highlighted for low chances of development. So later in the week, we'll be watching the southwestern Atlantic for a little feature that may be able to develop just north of the Bahamas later in the week could move into Florida, but ha we'll have a lot of dry air to contend with. So we'll have a close eye on that for you as the week progresses, but let's get into the southwestern Gulf on what's happening. So this area of showers and storms starting to get its act together near the Yucatan Peninsula right now. It is kind of overcoming the dry air that has been in the Gulf of Mexico. So this is what we'll be watching throughout the course of this week. So far, it still looks like it could develop maybe into a tropical depression, maybe our first tropical storm of the season this week, but it looks like it's still going to push west northwestward into maybe northern Mexico, south Texas, getting into the midweek time frame. It's certainly going to bring a lot of rain into southeastern Texas this week as it continues to kind of push into Mexico, bringing Mexico a lot of rain during the midweek time frame. That will not be impacting us. We're just going to see that tropical moisture on the top end of that. Plus, we'll be turning breezy as that kind of comes together this week. So expect windy conditions this week and that onset of tropical moisture to continue through tomorrow. So getting into tomorrow morning, we could have some passing showers and storms. Much like today, it's not going to be raining the whole time. We'll just kind of have those waves of showers, waves of storms throughout the course of tomorrow. But the showers can get heavy at times, especially tomorrow during the afternoon hours. Make sure you're driving carefully. We could have those big puddles and ponding on some of our more susceptible roadways on our Monday. So Monday still looks like our wettest day, pretty similar to today. And then as we get into Tuesday, some drier air will start to work in and the heaviest of the moisture will start to push westward into western Louisiana and into Texas.